welcome to real IQ. in this video i am going to show you how you can update your na10 in docker desktop so let's get started okay so as you can see my na10 it's up and running if i go to the link you should be able to see my na10 interface okay so first thing you need to do you need to stop your container I'll just copy this link because we are going to recreate the whole Docker container and that's the best way to do, uh, best way to update your Docker container. So we're just going to do delete, delete forever. I'm going to delete this one as well. Okay, so after you delete your containers and then you can delete your images as well. You just again search for an image n a10 and you are going to select this one n a10 io slash n a10 so you can just do run here or pull it's going to take some time one eternity later okay so once your n a10 it's downloaded the latest image you can just click on run within the optional setting that's where you are going to provide the information so I'm just going to say n a 10 IO. Okay. Port is going to be a default port unless you have changed it. So that's where when it comes to volume, that's where you are going to provide the source where you have actually stored your data. Okay. You are not going to create a new path. So select the one. Okay. So within the document I have used n a 10 data. That's the one I was using. So you can select this and again your data will be safe and secure as long as you are selecting the same path the next thing you are supposed to provide it's going to be your container path which is going to be home slash node slash dot and add in. okay then you have to provide environment variable okay so i'm just copy pasting the same url and now I'll copy paste the variable name. So first one, it's going to be an attend editor base URL. Second one is going to be webhook URL. And the third one is going to be an attend default binary data mode. And here I'm just saying file system. Okay. And you just say run. So as long as your data is stored in the same directory, it's not going to be lost. So if you go here, you can see your data is still stored. So even if you delete the container, data is still there. So you can rerun it and you should be able to have latest version of n a So let's, let's see first it's run and then we'll see how it works. Okay. So now it has installed it. I'll just open it up. So that's my n a 10 updated to see if it's updated or not we have to log in but i forgot my password so i'm going to reset my password you can find out how to do it in my other video Shit, there should be a link up there okay so i have changed my password and let's see okay, so i'll just set up the new account this is just a dummy account So as you can see that my n a 10 is updated, uh, updated and you can see my workflows are safe and that's how you can update your n a 10 with docker desktop. Okay, so that's it for today. If you are interested in more n a 10 video or Linux based video, you can tag that in comment and see you in the next video.